Oh my gosh. Okay, um, guys, I have had enough with everybody's shit. Um, this is going to be a rant video. I kind of want this to be a long, like, in detail rant video. Um, so, Alex HRH Collection has really changed my viewpoints on life. Um, like, I will never in a million years have a party in my house because I have no friends. Like, we so we do. We don't have friends. Like, I don't have friends by choice. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Like, if you don't, if you don't know, you don't know. Like, I don't want friends. I have... It's, I don't have a lot of friends. I don't want a lot of friends. Like, I, I can handle, like, one friend. But this something always happens. Like, I had a friend, and she had to move back to New York. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's something always happens. Like, I don't... It's too much for me to handle. Like, I have to fit, or I cannot expo expend the energy. I just can't. Like, I'm too busy. I'm really bad. Okay, murder me. I don't give a fuck. Shut up. Okay, shut the fuck up. This is the thing. I can't be honest with you guys. She's get mad. Like, I can't believe she fucking said that. She's a fucking bitch. I don't care. Okay? If you are easily offended, get the fuck up. Get the fuck off of my channel. Just get the fuck off of my channel. If you're easily offended, I don't have time for your fucking hurt ass feelings or annoyed. Like, if you don't, you're cringing me. Like, I'm really, I'm, cring I'm cringed by you. And like I said, if you get offended, just shut up. But don't, let me tell you something. If you get offended, I promise you, you will not go anywhere in life. Like, you cannot be offended. I'm telling you right now, I'm helping you. Why are you guys getting aggressive with me? Have I, what have I done to you? Like, don't fucking do that. Don't fucking force me. You guys know how I am. I'm not gonna, if you're gonna tell me to do something, I'm gonna do the opposite. Don't fucking make me do it. Like, you're not, I am not that kind of person. Stay in your own lane. Shut the fuck up. I don't just say, I don't have to stay in anyone's fucking lane. My own goddamn lane, okay? Sorry, you're too so, I'm sorry, you're so easily, like, offended. It's like, you have nothing better to do than to, like, sit around and think of things to be offended about because you're so spoiled. You're so, like, we are so affluent. We're so lucky as, like, Western world people that, like, we look for problems. It's so fucking irritating. Mind your own goddamn business. Hey, I don't, it's, it's, it's criticism. And I'm, and I don't, you're not allowed to criticize me. I'm not asking if I said, can you give me your opinion on X, Y, and Z? And then you said, you or yuck, that's fine. But I wasn't asking for your fucking criticism. It's fucking rude. You are, you are retarded. There's, if you do, if you act like that, there is something wrong with you. This society is so fucked up and so like weak and so pathetic. And like anything, if I say the word retarded, it triggers you so much that you have to write a thesis that I will then delete in one second. Like, it's, it, I'm getting hot. Like that is, this is the pit issue. It's like, we have, we have been so like coddled and like babied and like anything, like anything that you find offensive, you just like go and like tattletale or something. And like, and, and then, you know what I mean? It's like, it's so pathetic. Like how pathetic are we? Stop it, man. Fucking stop it. And guys, before we even begin, I'm going to put this in like the middle, but I used to think it was me. Like, is there a reason, like, is the reason I have no friends because of me and the way that I talk? But it's not. It's because everybody else, if they don't get it, they don't get it. Then, like, don't even bother talking to me. And I used to question, like, my beliefs and what I used to think. Because, once again, I think everyone needs a reality check. And I was so, like, caught up in the way that society thinks and not the way that I think. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. And we can go on to the random video. Sorry, this is, like, in the middle of the video, but, yeah. I've always kind of felt like her. I just didn't know how to articulate it in the right way or like say it in the right way. And I was so PC, like politically correct, trying to like make sure I thought this way um, and trying to like change the way that I fit to talk, to fit other people's comfort. And now that I'm an adult, I don't agree with that. Um, now, I think unless someone is being completely derogatory to you or like is threatening you or your life or someone's life you know, I don't think you should give a fuck what they say or do. Um, as long as it's legal, obviously. I think the way the society is, is everybody wants to be catered and coddled too, like a little baby. Um, what one person says, the ne next person is going to find offensive. Or what one person hates, 99% of society is going to hate as well. Um, and I think... In theory, like in hindsight, that makes sense. But like when you actually legitimately think about it, it's kind of embarrassing to actually care what other people think about you. Like people, like I remember when I would, when I was blonde, um, I, 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 I changed, I kept it because I like the blonde. People would give me so much shit for me that you look like Slim Shady, you look like, your hair looks like Armando's. I got so much shit, but I didn't give a fuck because I like coloring my hair blonde. I didn't go and tell them to my mom and like, oh my gosh, they, Jimmy said this about my hair. Like, I didn't give a fuck about that. I had to deal with it on my own because I'm my own person and that was my problem. Not my mom's problem to tell her that was my issue, right? So it doesn't make sense to me 
to me to tell other people about my issues. Like, how is that even logical? Like, can someone explain to me how that is logical? Like, I literally can't. And just, like, people are too sensitive. Like, I... I just don't care anymore. Like, if you like what I say, great. If you don't like what I say, don't follow me. Or, like, don't hang around me or don't be my friend. Like, I, I can't even begin to tell you how many times people have told me, you shouldn't say this or you shouldn't say that. Or it makes me uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable. If it makes you uncomfortable, then don't have a conversation or talk to me. If you have, if you are uncomfortable, that is a personal issue. And you are feeling that way. You're your own, in your own mind, feeling your own thoughts, feeling your own thoughts. Of why you feel that way. I am not in your brain scrambling your brain trying to you know make you feel that way. You're making your own self feel that way. Hence you make me uncomfortable like that's your problem not mine. Like I, I can't anymore with people. Like I, I just I, it's sad to me. It's really fucking sad to me. You know I I just I I just like why would you waste your time caring about other people of what they think. And like, political shit, that doesn't even matter. Like, political shit, you're never gonna find common ground arguing over opinions. Because when you argue over, like, politics, you're pretty much over arguing over opinions. And neither sides are right or wrong. Do people, like, not realize that? And like, it's kind of a waste to just argue about politics, especially if you're on the opposite side of each other. Like, do people not see that? You're never gonna find a common ground. You're just never going to. It's embarrassing that you have to keep arguing about politics if you're never going to find a common ground. Just shut the fuck up. And, like, do you. Like, why does anybody else care what other people are doing when it doesn't affect them at all in the slightest? Like, can someone... I just can't. Like, I literally can't. This is why I, like, have no friends because nobody is the way that I am. I am honest. I am true. I still real to me. I do what I like to do. Typically are. If you like it, I'll fucking hate it. And if I like it, you probably fucking hate it. I, I just do the opposite of everybody. I've always been like that. And the, the more you tell me not to do it, the more I'm gonna want to do it and vice versa. Right? Like, rather it's just like with clothes or the way I like to do my hair, whatever it is, I'm going to do it because I like to do it. Not because you like to do it, because I like to do it. I have Christmas stuff in my room. Everyone doesn't get it. Like, I like to celebrate Christmas and Halloween at the same time and early. You don't, okay? That's great for you. I don't give a fuck what you do and you shouldn't give a fuck what I do. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, this is so weird to me how people actually care and actually question why I have Christmas stuff up in my room. Like, what? Like, what? <laughs> like, what? What? Why does anybody else give a shit? I seriously cannot understand. I have them up because I like both holidays. So I can have them up in my room. Like, does anybody not see, like, how that's flawed and, like, people actually care about other people's shit and what they do with their lives? Because it's clearly not harming anybody. So why does anybody care? I, 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 I just can't. I, I literally can't. Like, people are always like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't wear your hair this way, you shouldn't color it. I did it. Because I like to do it. And like I said before, I'm gonna, I do the opposite of what everybody tells me to do. So I colored my hair because I wanted to do it. If you don't like it, then fuck off. I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's so sad to me. The way society is, if you don't like it, the next person will. And if it's so annoying, like, shut up, just shut up. If you're offended, you're seriously gonna make it nowhere in life. I'm quoting Alex, HRH Collection. But it's true. If you are offended over someone else's opinion, you're very weak and you're very weak minded and you just have a shallow ass brain and you're the way society, like everybody else is in society and it's embarrassing. It's literally embarrassing at this point. Like, it's like kicking, um, I don't know. It just makes no sense to me. And it's sad to me. It really is sad to me. Um, it just people are very little, f people are offended over every little fucking thing today. Everything. Because you gotta be so nice to everybody or else they're gonna fucking tell their mommy or their best friend. Like, I literally think it's so embarrassing if you're over the age of, like, 13 and you're telling your parents, like, what your what Jimmy said at school today or what Ashley said about your hair today. Do you know how embarrassing that is? Like, deal with that on your own. Because at the end of the day, you only have yourself. 
and you only want to rely on yourself and you want to be an independent thinker. You don't want to think the way as everybody else does. You want to think your own way and come up with your own thoughts, do your own research to come up with your own conclusions. That's what I've always done. I've always been like that. I've never been the one to trust doctors or dentists. I've never been to trust scientists. I've always had one eye open looking and actually seeing what they're trying to do because I have never trusted them. What's again? I have never trusted them. Just because you have doesn't mean you need to type a fucking thesis in the fucking paragraph or in the comments below. I never trusted them because I just never felt right about them. And I don't think they know as much as I think they do or as much as they say they do. I really don't. I think that's bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. Like, how does your dentist or doctor know that you only see like once every couple of months? How do they know you better than you know yourself? But like I said, that brings me back to the original point. Everyone is the way, everyone is the way everybody is in society. 99% of the people think the same. And there's that 1% like me and Alex and Maya, Alana, well, she used to be like this, I don't know about now, but for sure me and Alex, we have our own thoughts and our own like set of ideas and what we believe and what we don't believe. And that's it. Like that's literally it. Like, and watching her, like, I've always thought like her, I always have, I just didn't know how to articulate. I want to piss anybody off, but like now I just don't give a damn. If you don't like me or what I say, don't follow me, don't be my friend, just fuck off. I, I don't care anymore. Like, it's so weird to me how, like, other people care what other people think. As I've said before, it's, like, illogical to me. Especially when they don't even know you. And even if they do, do know you, you still don't have to listen to them. And probably if you tell me something to do something, I'm not going to do it and vice versa, like I've said before. Like, I, I, I just can't anymore. I, I, I think this whole... I think society needs a real uh, reality check. And I think that people... Like, people do realize we have rights, right? Like, sometimes you're not being derogatory or, like, threatening someone or, like, harassing someone it's, and it's legal. Like, you you do have rights, right? One of them being freedom of speech. You can say whatever the hell you want as long as it's not derogatory or harming anybody. There is boundaries, yes. You don't cross or say, obviously. But as long as you're not, like, hurting anyone or, like, being derogatory in any way, shape, or form, why the fuck does anybody else care? Like, it makes no sense to me. I, I just, I, it's, it's, it's sad. <laughs> it's literally sad. Like, because like I said, if you don't like what I say or my beliefs, what I believe in, not what you believe in, what I believe in. What? Like, how is that even logical? Like, why am I going to waste my time bothering you or having a conversation with you when you're not even going to agree with me? I'm not going to waste my time. I'm, it's not worth the energy. And you're not, and you better not do the same to me. You better not talk to me. You better move on or find a new friend or find a new person to subscribe to. I am not PC. I'm not going, you're not going to put me in a corner and you're not going to put me in a box like the way society is. And you're not going to tell me to say this and this and this and wrap a bow on it to make other people happy. You're not going to do that to me. You're not. You're just not going to do that to me. I wasn't being derogatory. I wasn't being mean. Therefore, I can say whatever the hell I want. And if you have the issue with it, then fuck off and don't follow me. I like seriously don't know what else to tell you. If you are that sensitive, you are going to make it nowhere in life. It's embarrassing that you are that way. It's embarrassing. Wake up. This is a new day and age. It is not the 80s anymore. We are not going to center what we say to fit your comfort. And if you're the one with the issue, you're the one that needs a reality check and you are the one that needs to be woken up. Because you clearly are in a deep sleep. I am not going to censor what I say to fit your comfort levels. It's just not going to work around me. It is not going to work around me. You can try all you fucking want. I don't give a fuck. You'll probably either be blocked or you're going to block me or whatever the case is. I don't roll that way. I do not roll that way anymore. I did. I kind of PC'd earlier this year and like last year and whatever and pretty much all my life, but not anymore. I've always been the one to think differently than 99% of society. I don't know why. That's how I've always been. My aunt's like this too. But like so is Alex. So is fucking Alex. And it's 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 like if people actually legitimately thought about it, they'd be like, oh my gosh, I see where he's coming from. But no, everyone is so like sensitive and shallow with anything you gotta be so nice and PC because if you can't piss anybody off, if you piss someone off, you'll get fired or you'll you'll get a consequence. Like I, I like I said, as long as you're not being derogatory, you can say whatever the hell you want. As long as you're not threatening anyone or harassing anyone, you can say whatever the hell you want. And if people don't like it, then they're not meant to be with you. Fuck off. Tell them to loot. Tell them to move or, like, leave or, like, block them. I don't know. Like, I like why would you want to even change the way the fit, the way you talk to fit someone's comfort level? Why would you even want to do that to begin with? Because that, that's not disingenuous to what you believe in or you as a person. So why would you want to change the way you talk to fit X, Y, and Z's 
of how the way you should talk or they think you should talk. It's all a matter of opinion. That's really all life is. It's all a matter about opinions. You should do this. You shouldn't do that. Okay, great. I think I should do it. So I'm going to do it. If you don't, you don't have to. That's on you. But I'm going to do it because I like to do it. I'm going to say true. I'm, I'm real. I'm raw. I'm organic. I like to do things because I like to do them. Not because you like to do them. Because I like to do them. And if you can't see through this barrier, then you're just so helpless and far gone. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you. And if you go to your mom and daddy for every little thing, or you go to your post your friends shit on Snapchat, or you post them about with someone's son, do you know how embarrassing and dumb that makes you look? It makes you look like you're not independent at all because you can't deal with your own issues. You have to rely on other people's like communication to get like validation. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. You're probably a teenager, if not yet older than that. And you're relying on other people's like opinions and thoughts off of your issue. How embarrassing is that? You look fucking retarded, man. Like, you look fucking dumb as shit. I cannot sh begin to even tell you how dumb you look. It's embarrassing. Literally embarrassing. That you have to rely on other people's communication or comments to make sure you get the validation you want. That's embarrassing. That's why, like, exposing people is so fucking retarded and embarrassing. You look dumb. You just literally look dumb. Because at the end of the day, you're only, like, it's a better opinion. You're just only posting that because you didn't agree with them. That's why. That's literally why. You're not overing if the sky is blue or purple or not. Like, you're, you're not. You're, it's, you're arguing over thin air. It's a waste. Why even bother to begin with? If you don't like the way that someone speaks, don't be friends with them. Don't talk to them. Because you're so, like, bleh. You know, you're what you think is the way as everybody, as everybody in society does. It's embarrassing. You need to grow up. It's a reality check. And move on with your life. Like, seriously, don't give a shit what other people say, especially when you don't even like them to begin with, or you don't even validate their opinion to begin with. Why would you? Even if it's your fucking mom telling you to do this, do that. You need to do what you want to do. Not what they want you to do, what you want to do, because at the end of the day, it's your life, right? You're not in someone else's body, you're in your own body, okay? So why are you letting I don't think other people, other bodies, control what you do with your body, or your life, or your mind, or your thoughts, or your opinions, or your ideas, or your beliefs? Can someone tell me how that's logical? Like, I never really thought of this, like, as much as I do now. I have always thought about it, but, like, not as much as I do now. And it's all because of Alex. I love Alex so much. Literally, I love her so much. But, yeah. I think I'm going to end this video here. I want it to be a little longer. Um, but I, like, think I've said everything I need to say. I will definitely make a part two because I feel like I'm going to eventually. Um, but I've actually wanted to make a video like this for a while, too. But I'm going to, like, how to articulate my words in the right way. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna end this video here. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, follow me on my social media, and I will see you guys in the next videos. And Alex, if you're watching this, I love you, girl. Lots of you, girl. Start and stay me on Twitter. <laughs> okay, bye.